A local city councilman diagnosed with monkeypox facing a mound of challenges. He went to the doctor hoping for some medicine, but instead got a dose of difficulty. From a lack of testing to barely any vaccines, I talked with him about his push to get people the treatment they need. From a simple single welt to painful blisters and back aches, we've heard one extreme to the other about monkeypox. This is honestly, it's, it's still new to so many people. What did you even notice was happening? Realistically, when it first happened, I, I thought it was a bug bite. It was something a little uh, sore underneath my armpit. And so I just didn't think twice about it. Tracy City Councilman Dan Ariola, still in isolation, told me over Zoom he thought it was just a bug bite. But when it led to a fever, he went to his doctor. Did your doctor's office know how to test, how to treat, all of that? Well, I think that's one of the frustrating parts and ultimately one of the reasons why I decided to testify. Ariola told the Senate Select Committee on Monkeypox about a mountain of challenges, starting with his doctor not having testing supplies, forcing him to go to the emergency room for a simple swab, a five hour wait, and then the nurses didn't know how to process it, researching as they went along. Not only are we still recovering from COVID, but for a lot of the LGBTQ community, this is really triggering and reminiscent of what we saw during the HIV AIDS crisis. Areola now pushing for better treatment and prevention. San Joaquin County initially had just 10 doses of the vaccine. This, as the chief medical officer at SF General, says monkeypox hospitalizations have increased over the past few days. This really speaks to the need to really try to get vaccinations out there to the community. I think we have an opportunity right now because it is still so new that if we have the available resources, we can nip this in the bud before it gets worse. Ariola says 750 doses of the monkeypox vaccine are finally expected in San Joaquin County this week. Meantime, in isolation or not, he is reaching out to fellow lawmakers about getting the community and health care providers educated and prepared to handle monkeypox.